Did you know that recognizing the signs of a stroke could literally save someone's life? That's right. Knowing what to look for in those critical moments can make all the difference between a full recovery and a devastating outcome. In this video, I'm going to share some easy and practical tips to help you recognize the signs of a stroke quickly and confidently. Whether it's happening to you or someone else, these tips could be life-saving. Let's get started! But first, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more essential health tips. Let's kick things off with the letter F in the FAST acronym, which stands for face drooping. If you suspect someone might be having a stroke, ask them to smile. What you're looking for is whether one side of their face droops or doesn't move as much as the other. It's a pretty clear sign that something's not right if only one side of the mouth lifts while the other side stays down. This unevenness is a big red flag and should never be ignored. Next up is A for arm weakness. Here's a quick test. Ask the person to raise both arms straight out in front of them. If one arm starts to drift downward or they can't lift one arm at all, that's a sign of arm weakness, which is another major indicator of a stroke. This happens because the muscles on one side of the body aren't getting the proper signals from the brain, causing that arm to weaken or even become paralyzed. If you see this happening, it's time to take action. The S stands for speech difficulty. Ask the person to repeat a simple sentence like, the sky is blue. If their speech is slurred, garbled, or they can't get the words out correctly, that's a clear sign something is wrong. It might sound like they're suddenly speaking in slow motion or like their words are all jumbled up. And finally, T stands for time to call 911. If you notice any of these signs, face drooping, arm weakness, or speech difficulty, don't wait. Call emergency services immediately. The faster you get help, the better the chances for recovery. Remember, when it comes to a stroke, every second really does count. Another crucial tip is to be on the lookout for sudden numbness or weakness, particularly if it's happening on just one side of the body. Imagine someone suddenly losing feeling or strength in their arm, leg, or face. It's not just a strange sensation, it's a major red flag for a stroke. This kind of sudden weakness can make it hard to grip objects, walk, or even stand. If someone suddenly can't move one side of their body, don't shrug it off. It's a big deal and needs immediate attention. Next up, let's talk about sudden confusion. If a person suddenly seems disoriented, has trouble speaking, or can't understand what you're saying, these are classic signs of a stroke. It might look like they're struggling to find the right words or they might be speaking in a way that doesn't make sense. This isn't just about being a little tired or distracted. This kind of confusion hits out of nowhere and can be scary. If you notice someone having sudden trouble communicating or understanding, it's a serious warning sign that a stroke could be happening. Finally, keep an eye out for sudden vision problems. This could be blurred vision, double vision, or even a sudden loss of vision in one or both eyes. If someone suddenly can't see properly, it's not just a fluke. It's something that needs to be taken seriously. The eyes and brain are closely connected, so when something goes wrong with vision, it could be a sign that the brain isn't getting enough blood. Don't wait to see if it clears up on its own. Sudden vision changes are another key indicator that a stroke could be happening and that immediate medical attention is needed. All right, so what exactly is a stroke? In simple terms, a stroke happens when the blood flow to a part of your brain gets cut off. This can be due to a clot blocking an artery, that's called an ischemic stroke, or because a blood vessel in the brain bursts, which is known as a hemorrhagic stroke. Either way, the result is the same. The brain cells in that area start to die off because they're not getting the oxygen and nutrients they need from the blood. When those brain cells start to die, the functions controlled by that part of the brain like movement, speech, or memory, can be lost or impaired. That's why a stroke is so serious. The longer the brain goes without blood flow, the more damage occurs. This can lead to long-term disabilities or even be life-threatening if not treated immediately. When it comes to treating a stroke, timing is everything. Seriously, every minute counts. The quicker a stroke is identified and treated, the better the chances of minimizing brain damage and improving recovery. There's a saying in the medical world, time is brain. It means that with each passing minute, more brain cells are at risk of permanent damage.
Treatments like clot-busting drugs are most effective within the first few hours after a stroke begins. So the sooner you get help, the better. So what should you do if you suspect someone is having a stroke? One of the most important things is to note the time when the symptoms first appear. This is crucial information that the doctors will need when they start treatment. Knowing exactly when the symptoms began can help medical professionals decide the best course of action, especially if they're considering treatments that have a narrow window of effectiveness. When the paramedics arrive or when you get to the hospital, make sure to tell them the exact time you first noticed the symptoms. It might feel like a lot is happening all at once, but keeping track of time could make a big difference in the outcome. Don't guess or estimate, try to be as accurate as possible. This information can help the medical team move quickly and potentially save critical brain function. Remember, when it comes to a stroke, every second really does count. In the heat of the moment, it's easy to panic, especially when someone you care about might be having a stroke. But here's the thing, staying calm is one of the best things you can do. I know it's easier said than done, but keeping your cool will help you think clearly and make the right decisions fast. When you're calm, you're able to assess the situation more effectively and take the necessary steps without hesitation. The first and most important action you should take is to call emergency services immediately. Don't wait to see if the symptoms go away on their own. The faster you call for help, the sooner professional medical care can arrive. While you're waiting for the ambulance, stay with the person. Your presence alone can be incredibly comforting in what's likely a very scary situation for them. As you stay with them, keep talking to them and providing reassurance. Let them know help is on the way and that they're not alone. Simple things like holding their hand or keeping them engaged in conversation can help reduce their anxiety. Avoid giving them food, drink, or any medication unless specifically directed by a medical professional. Just focus on staying calm, keeping them calm, and getting help on the scene as quickly as possible. Remember, your calm and quick actions can make a world of difference in this critical moment. It's one thing to know the signs of a stroke, but it's another to make sure you can recognize them instantly when it matters most. It's so important to learn the signs of a stroke and keep them fresh in your mind. Whether it's the FAST acronym we talked about earlier or the other sudden symptoms like numbness or vision problems, take a few minutes to review these signs regularly. You never know when you might need to act quickly, so being prepared is key. Now don't just keep this knowledge to yourself, share it. Talk to your friends, family, and coworkers about the signs of a stroke. You'd be surprised how many people aren't familiar with them or wouldn't know what to do in an emergency. By spreading this information, you're helping to create a community that's more aware and ready to respond if a stroke happens. Think about it. The more people who know the signs and how to respond, the better the chances are that someone will get the help they need right away. It's not just about protecting yourself, it's about looking out for those around you too. So, make it a point to teach others what you've learned here. You might even save a life just by having a casual conversation about stroke awareness. Let's get everyone on the same page so we can all be prepared to act fast when it really counts. Let's start by busting a big myth. Strokes only happen to older people. While it's true that the risk of stroke increases with age, strokes can actually happen to anyone, at any time. Younger adults, and even children, can have strokes. It's not just something that affects your grandparents. That's why it's so important for everyone, no matter their age, to be aware of the signs. Don't dismiss symptoms just because you think someone is too young to have a stroke. Another common misconception is that a stroke will always be obvious right away with dramatic symptoms like sudden collapse. The truth is, strokes can be sneaky. Not all strokes present with intense, noticeable symptoms at first. Some people might experience mild symptoms like a slight slur in speech or a little weakness in one arm, which can be easy to brush off. But even these subtle signs are serious and should never be ignored. A stroke doesn't have to knock you off your feet to be dangerous. Finally, Let's talk about the idea that if stroke symptoms go away on their own, everything's fine. This is absolutely not true. If symptoms disappear quickly, it could be a transient ischemic attack, or TIA, often called a mini-stroke. While the symptoms might be temporary, 
A TIA is a major warning sign that a full-blown stroke could be on the way. It's your body's way of saying, hey, something's wrong, get help now. Even if you feel better afterward, it's crucial to seek medical attention immediately. A TIA is a red flag that you can't afford to ignore. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below, and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more essential health tips. Your support helps us reach more people with potentially life-saving information. All right, let's quickly recap what we've covered. We talked about the importance of recognizing a stroke as fast as possible and using the FAST acronym, face drooping, arm weakness, speech difficulty, and time to call 911. We also discussed how to spot sudden symptoms like numbness, confusion, and vision problems, and why time is critical when dealing with a stroke. Remember, staying calm, acting quickly, and knowing what to do can make all the difference in preventing severe damage and possibly saving a life. I can't stress enough how important it is to keep this information fresh in your mind. Review these signs regularly and share what you've learned with friends and family. The more people who know how to recognize a stroke and respond quickly, the better. You never know when this knowledge might be needed, and being prepared could mean the difference between life and death. And don't forget to check out our next video, where we dive into 10 intense signs you have anxiety and what to do about it. It's packed with practical advice that you won't want to miss. Thanks so much for watching and being part of the Brain Blitz community. Your engagement means the world to us, and we appreciate you. See you in the next video.